for Ixalan. Can't think of anything new to say about this deck that I've not said over the last couple of days. Um, the Sand Stranglers haven't been performing well. That's really about it. Probably should cut them, but like... I don't really want a third Glorybringer. And the cards that I would probably cut them for would be another Chandra, which is out of the budget. Maybe another Harsh Mentor, but I've not actually got paired versus Teamer enough, which is really the only match I wanted in. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and load up a game. So I'm coming to realize more and more that I'm pretty happy with this main deck. I don't know if I want the new Ixalan card at all. Hey. Well, I'm dropping frames already. What in the hell? Why? Whatever. We'll just start the games. Hopefully it stays together. If it don't, it don't. This hand's terrible. We'll keep it. I have a removal spell, a three drop, and a hazard. It. Like, I can't imagine wanting this hand for any reason, but I also can't imagine getting rid of this hand for any reason. Maybe if we knew what our opponent was playing, we would know this hand's not good enough. But I don't know. Thanks for the auto host total ilm TGs. Yeah, our frames are dropping like horribly today. I don't have anything on. I literally just turned my computer on. There's nothing on that doesn't have to be on. Maybe it'll settle down or at least not break up. Who knows? Teamer versus Teamer. This is not a particularly good hand to fight versus the Teamers with. Might not be that bad if we draw red mana next turn or uh over once over the next two turns. Could not be team or two, it could be that Sultai deck that's running around. Well, that's not the red mana. We don't hit a fourth mana. I don't think we'll have much of a chance this game, unless our opponent's just like on stone nothing. There's only one of these in the deck. A lot of people are playing a second instead of the fifteenth mountain, so like I already have more mountains than most builds. If they made that play, I'm just assuming the little crasher's dying here. Yeah. Could have saved a lot of time and killed it before, but whatever. And we're going to take it up for mana and go ahead and slam this guy. Because that way our Hazard can pretty much attack next turn no matter what. It's the third time my computers did this laggy stuff though, so it's kind of weird. We're hoping he doesn't have a Bristling Hydra. That would be an issue, especially now that he has the Effer Hub. It would not have been an issue if he didn't have the Effer Hub. Just kind of annoying there's not really a lot I can do about that yeah, I guess we'll just take this up and see what happens a 
cropper. I don't think a cropper is as good as just playing Hazard. Hey, Vladimus. Hey, local. Are you feeling any better? That's kind of interesting decision now. I can attack and v put our opponent at 9. And very likely my Chandra dies if I do that. But for the Chandra to die, he would also have to have another blocker that the Braid would probably kill. So, like, I think the only way attacking of Hazard's wrong... The only way it really gets punished is if he has like a removal spell into a Whirler or like a removal spell into a Lone Tusk, but we might be able to win those games anyway. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and smash for five. <clears throat> Hopefully the Chandra survives, but I think five damage is better. Five guaranteed damage feels to me like it's better than some percentage of not guaranteed damage. So now that he's tapped one mana for a tune, we're just praying that he doesn't also have a long tusk cub. That would make us sad. Yeah, well that's not that's not terrible. Uh no, I do not draft. You feeling any better, local? I know you said yesterday that you might have the flu. Hmm. Go ahead and make him spend some mana on that. And that'll help us decide what we're doing with our stuff on the following turn. I kind of like the new set. I was surprised that I like it so much. So killing a Thopter doesn't seem as good as just doing two more damage with Chandra. That sucks. Ricky opened a foil promo of the new Flip Cradle today, and then when he won, he got another kit and got another foil promo of the new Flip Cradle today, which is pretty nice. Alright, so we won game one. Game two, I definitely like these Chandra's defeats, and I've definitely liked these Harsh Mentors. And I'm starting to warm up on Glory Bringer, even though I hadn't been using them the last couple of days. In general, I've been cutting out the shocks, and on the draw, I've been cutting out two crashers. Uh, I still don't think Chandra's particularly good here, but... I really don't have anything better in my board. The croppers don't seem to me like they do a whole lot versus the guy that's like main game plan is playing uh, a bunch of World of Virtuoso tokens and or probably Ephra Spear Harvesters. You plan to release Draft Friday, local?
Um, this hand's a keep. Unbanned Guardian? Oh god, no. Just, just no. We don't, we don't want to hear that. You be quiet. No, no more marble. I did not play today. I don't think Beaumont's are particularly good in this match either. I just don't have that many good sideboard cards in this match at all. I've had enough of Marvel, even though Marvel's my bay. I'd probably try to do something dumb and like get approaches with my Marvel. And this is one of the reasons that I don't actually like uh, the Beaumont Couriers in this match. It's because like, our opponent just plays a Servant, and we don't really get to do anything. I really don't know if there's too many answers for Marvel. You're just going to throw Marvel in some kind of team or shell, and it's just going to be off the chart value. Not looking good for the home team, providing anybody thinks I'm the home team. Guess we'll jam this one, even though he clearly has some kind of removal spell. Alright. Well, that makes it easier to jam this one. So we're going to have to hit a lot of lands and a lot of lands fairly quickly. Cool. Another removal spell while we still don't have one. If you're playing all of those cards to beat a Marvel though, like, you don't have enough cards left to beat Mono Red and stuff. Alright, so this game's over. Eh, I guess I won't concede because I'm on stream. And like, there's always a chance that like all three cards in his hands are lands or something crazy, but... But we're uh we're in a pretty bad shape. Guess we could hit runner runner land maybe. I don't even know what that would do since we don't block well from here. Like he literally can just beat us with this. I don't think he needs anything else. It looks like he has other stuff anyway, so. Most of our losses involve us not playing fourth lands. I don't know how many people have been watching, but most of the losses we've had of this deck involve us just not playing lands. I think I could have some fun ramping into the big mar or the big uh nag yeah.
Okay. I guess we'll block with this one. There's some chance that we'll have to go ahead and pop the courier before the glory bringer can come down just to block with a hazard. Oh, well, we just have no out then. Not even sure why this card's still in his deck. Alright, well that didn't work out. Okay, so I actually like the croppers a little more on the play, though I still think they're kind of bad. Kind of want to cut the Chandra's. Again, I really don't think Chandra's good in this match. It does give you some reach to beat them when they get their stuff out, but like... The Momot Couriers don't seem actually great in this match either, though. I don't know. Let's try something like this. I don't actually like the Chandra's though, so this is probably a bad idea. I'm just experimenting a little bit. Oh, one land. Cool. Alright, well it's a keep. If they have a removal spell, it's not likely to win, but it is a keep. I like how we've already mulligan before they technically joined the game. It's kind of weird. Right, we'll keep. Lightning strike on top. Well, we need land, so we won't keep that. They don't have a removal spell. Like, this hand's not the worst thing I've ever saw, providing we hit a land. They have, like, a Chandra's Defeat or something, though. Oh boy, or even a Harness Lightning or a Braid. I mean, they have a million removal spells they could have. And every one of them make us cry. There's always a chance that they just don't have any of them, though. Oh, well, they have one. It's actually not the worst for us, because... Uh, as, as long as they don't have, like, a Whirler Virtuoso, there's always a chance we draw another land that can double spell. And we still get three damage in this turn. But they still have seven cards in their hand, so. Hey, Corlot. How you doing, man? I noticed you stopped by the other night. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching the YouTube channel. So now we just kind of want to see no Whirler Virtuoso. Man, my computer is still making this weird noise. Well, I guess that's decent. They didn't play anything. It's kind of bad for me. I really needed to draw a land there so I could stop a Bristling Hydra on the next turn. So now if they just have a Bristling Hydra, we're, we're in pretty bad shape. He's got double removal spell, we're just dead. Wow. Triple removal spell. Not gonna beat draws like that. He had three removal spells last game, they're zero as well. So very close to no outs this game.
Well, maybe we can get a four drop of some kind. I do believe that they are a favored match versus us, so I'm not that upset to lose it. It's just a little, a little disappointing to lose it after we snuck game one by. Guess we could draw Hazard, maybe. Maybe he doesn't have an answer to it. No, oh, never mind. That's a world of virtuoso, so he definitely has an answer to it. Hey, we got Dedafopter. Nom nom nom. I really don't know what we could draw that's useful. I guess it's less about what we draw and more about what they have. Oh, another another of their best card. Well, that's a bad sign. So hazard or bust? It's actually probably hazard and bust, but we don't concern ourselves with those things. It's certainly not basic land. All right. And a fourth removal spell. Sure. Well, that's game. Have no out now at all. We could demonic tutor and not beat the board, probably. I don't like leaving these in versus mono red. A, it's very slow, and B, I can easily just have like a one mana spell for it. It's just the same reason I don't like bringing mine in versus him. So we're Dobbs, practically. Like we don't have an out, but we're not we're not technically dead next turn. But we just we don't have an out. <clears throat> Maybe if he makes a bad block here, it'd give us a chance to find Runner Runner if he had Stone Nothing.
Those don't seem likely. In fact, I don't think I actually have even a runner runner now. Because we're going to go to five. We would have to kill this. So yeah, I don't think we even have a runner runner now. Oh, he has more cards anyway. He has another Glorybringer. I really don't think Glorybringers are good in this match. From either side of the table. I brought them in too. I still don't think they're good. It's one of the first things I sideboard out versus red decks because like you can just draw a couple like four and five drops in your opening hand and lose. So we're now, let's see, 28 and 5 with the deck. We've lost the teamer twice, mono red twice, and one black green deck once. Hey, we won the dash row again. And we have no land again. So this is going to be one of those days. Alright, we'll keep a very mediocre draw. Is there like third hand with no removal spell in four games? Well, can't keep it. Yes, it was a removal spell, but B, we don't know what our opponent's playing, and our hand's pretty bad anyway, so, like, just can't keep it blindly hoping that they're playing a deck that it lines up well versus. Eh, looks like looks like they're playing a deck that we want it versus. The positive note is if they kill the scout ship next turn, we probably don't care to sack the Beaumont. If they kill the Beaumont, we get to keep the scout ship. Feels like a win-win. Oh, it's definitely a win-win then. So we're going to take four damage this turn no matter what? So basically, we just need to fade Whirler Virtuoso. And this hand will have turned out pretty well. By the way, if you're playing Teamer, I highly suggest playing four Whirlers at the moment. Hopefully it's not killing the Beaumont, because we kind of want the Beaumont. Um, I guess we need the second red more than anything. Really? Yeah, well, we'll just take us another card then. Okay, Bristling Hydra's a good one. Hazard's still good here. So play the Desert because Desert Things.
not actually sure that I want to draw five cards. I probably do, but I'm not sure that I do. Be getting a six card during my next turn? Eh, I don't think I want to draw the full five. So opponents behind, opponents in a lot of trouble right now. Seems like he drew poorly, we drew well. For the Virtuosos, best card you can have. Another Beaumont. Right, I guess we'll draw to five now. Because the bow model let us discard if we need to. Hey, Boot. What's up, man? Thanks for the auto host. Oh, yeah. So go ahead and make him get the rest of his tokens. Oh, he saved three energy for some reason. Well, if he saved three energy, holding up the braid doesn't feel like it does a lot. Another Hydra, sure. That was a terrible hazard, by the way. They found an attack. That's always scary. Could just try to beat him. Do like two damage to him, two damage to him, untap, two damage to him, two damage to him, but seems like a lot. Seems like a lot in this spot. And I think we just went underground. Maybe we don't, though, because now I need to use this Abrade. There's not really a good target to use the Abrade on. I guess the best target to use it on is this thing. If I was going to Abrade, I should have uh, braided before I played the Cropper. That was kind of a bad mistake by me. All right, it worked. It ended up not being. It ended up not mattering, but it still was a mistake, I believe. All right, so we're going to attack with everything for sure. I want to make something not be able to block. Probably this thing. Because I think I'd rather the Long Tusk Cub be dead. 
Um, it's a bigger attacker and it's closer to being able to survive the hazard. <clears throat> Though if I picked the Lone Tusk Cub, he could only trade with the Cropper to the Hydra. He can only trade the... Uh, So unless he has another World of Virtuoso, pretty much every card that we draw from here on out is going to get slung to the head. Not all, but like pretty much all. I oh, found another attack. Does he have another World of Virtuoso, or does he have like something even better? He has another World of Virtuoso. Can our opponents stop drawing two and three World of Virtuosos every game? Another hazard doesn't do us any good. So we're going to sacrifice one of these this turn at least. Lightning Strike's a good one. Don't have enough mana to get the kill, but that's fine. Sure. So we don't have to attack anymore. It's the last of our attacking. Let's just save the old blockers now. All right, so let's try the sideboarding thing again. Again, I still think Chandra's defeats are overpowered. Someday we're going to draw one. I should probably put the third in the deck. I think overall the shocks are kind of mediocre, and I think the harsh mentors are good. It'll... Croppers seem less good to me on the draw. I'm just going to do the same thing we did last time. I think Beaumont Couriers actually aren't good either, but... I always leave them in because like they, sometimes they go crazy like they did just did game one. 
The Beaumont Couriers probably shouldn't be in the deck. So this little bad boy's getting ready to get him some. Go get that. Go get that opponent, Beaumont. So opponent's mana screwed or he F6 this turn or something. I don't have any idea. Whatever it is, though. I'm just playing this Beaumont Courier. I'm getting across the table. I'd rather play the Beaumont Courier here because he could have a Magma Spray and the Earth Shaker is good if he, draw, if he does draw a 2-drop. Uh, we're 0-1. We lost to Teamer round 1. Looks like we're beating a Teamer opponent round 2 that kept a 1 land hand. And since this team or opponent seems to be mana screwed, I guess we'll go ahead and kill that. It was an argument that I should have just left Chandra's defeat up in case he played Whirler Virtuoso. It'd have cut him off one Fopter. I wonder if MTG bots down or if it just hasn't joined. Hmm. Let me uh, go to the MTG bot channel and tap join and see if that'll help. Uh, let me actually uh, finish off the opponent first so that we can't be accused of slow rolling or anything. Had a really good hand. We're lucky he didn't have a virtuoso. Uh, join. Yeah. He might be down. He is not joining. Wow. It's a good thing we have that backup deck list then. So that's six damage on table. So best case scenario for him is he drops the f probably f four if he has a whirler. <sighs> Alright, well I guess we'll kill that. And let him only get two tokens. And hope that he doesn't have a removal spell. Because if he has a removal skill, we're going to have some problems. Of course, we could just draw Hazard. Wow, he has more? Yeah, this isn't good for us. Yeah, I'm just gonna bash off them all. Except for the Slow Scar Mage, I guess. It has Menace, he has to block with two. He's got a block of all four if he actually wants to kill it.
So this puts him down to a reasonable life total, and our Earthshaker Kenrick could come out of sight or come back out of the grave if we draw a land. So we don't really have any dead cards in our deck. Just draw two burn spells from here as well would probably be good. Well, that's probably the least good card in my deck in this spot. Uh, so let's see if he has a removal spell, right? He has a removal spell. He practically had to have it. Based on how he played last turn, I'm going to assume he drew it off the Rogue Refiner. Oh, wow, and he has a life goes on? Yeah, we might not win this game. Wow. Opponent has drawn absurdly well. Because he certainly didn't have most of these cards. Glorybringer? Alright. Not a bad one. This thing can't block. And I don't have to have Hazret, like he's still at eight, six if you count the Ramian Aperoons. Like we're head on board. We just need him to brick one or two turns. That's almost a brick. It still trades for two things. Life Goes On is not a bad card. Like, we've considered it playing them in the past, but... Uh, that was one of the things that we tried with the Pummeler deck. It just never panned out to be good enough. Sure. Well, that doesn't do it. However, that is a good card in this spot. We still have six mana, so... We have glory bringers in our deck. Uh, we still have two Chandras in our deck, and we have a Hazard in our deck. So we have some good draws. You just draw another uh, Sun Scorched Desert too. Well, that's close. F6 value is why I'm doing it now. So now a lightning strike's good enough even, providing he doesn't have a second life goes on. Uh, the croppers are good. I think there's two croppers in the deck still. Yeah. Two croppers, uh, Hazard, two glory bringers, two Chandras, uh, more deserts. Lightning strikes, all good draws. Confiscation coup, that thing. Interesting. Well. That doesn't help us. Attacked with them all. Wow. Okay. That has to be drawing another World of Virtuoso, right? 
Oh, well, we don't care about that. All right. So go ahead and sack this as well, because sacking this gives us an out to draw the third one of these. And quite frankly, we're dead next turn anyway. Hazard. Hazard's not good enough. If we hadn't sacked the desert, Hazard might have been good enough, but it's not good enough in this spot. Uh, thank you, Jay Steel, for the 100 bits. I appreciate it, man. Reminds me. Let's pop that up there. I'm amazed we lost this game. Like, our opponent didn't play Land Drop 2, yet he kept. Yep, and we're dead on board. If we hadn't sacked the one thing, we could have been alive, I guess, but... What's the odds of drawing a Hazard? I gave us a chance to win on the spot. And he could have drawn a removal spell and we wouldn't be alive anyway. Think it was right to sack that? I'm almost positive it was. I am literally dream crushed that we lost the match though. I think, I think leaving Harsh Mentor in play was pretty good, though. Like, it shuts down Whirler Rogue. It shuts down Ephra Spear Harvesters. Like, it's so good. Like, it's it's what I'll consider my best creature, my best non hazard creature. So, like, getting rid of one just feels really weird. I think I want the Beaumont back. I just don't want these Beaumonts. They just never do anything. I think the Soulscour Mages are better than Beaumont's. Uh, this hand is terrible, but you can't really mulligan it. I'm pretty happy with how we played that game. I think we just ran really bad. We have to draw some removal spells. I've just been super unimpressed by Beaumont. Like, I have to draw multiple removal spells for him to matter. It's like, only if you have it on the play, and he's going to play a 2-drop 100% of the time, so you have to have a removal spell. Like, what would, Beaumont would have done one card here. The same as, but Soulscour Mages are a little bit better because uh, they grow in size and things of that nature. Yeah, well, he called my bluff. He'd have got. He wouldn't have got any cards, right? Because I couldn't attack that turn. And I'm not going to discard to Chandra. And he's going to die at some point. That block was brave to me. The only way you make that block is if you have Whirler Virtuoso in your hand, and we wasn't beating Whirler Virtuoso anyway. In my opinion. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Now he can't save the Long Tusk Cub. But he probably has another removal spell and we probably can't save the Chandra. But yeah, we're way behind. I knew when we drew no removal spell we were dead anyway. Still think this card's terrible in this match. Uh, 
Uh, looks like we're dropping the teamer again. Thanks for following, Bath Saudi. Alright, the fourth Soul Scare Mage, that's a game loss. Alright, well we're 0-2 versus Teamer today. We won both game ones. Teamer's definitely favored versus us, though. So we're currently 28-6 and six with this deck. We've lost to Teamer three times, Red Deck wins twice, and Black Green once. What are we looking at here? It says Draft. I don't know what these cards are. They reprinted our elemental? I had no idea. I have vivid memories of that card. Huh. Blood Craze Paladin's kind of cool too. Dead Eye Tormentor is very good. This deck looks very solid. Bone Parley. Nineteen lands, wow. Um, what is out and in with Ixalan? Do you mean like the cards or the sets? Yeah, no, uh, uh that deck looks very strong. Oh, I guess I need to pop this back up and pay homage. Um, approach is going, there's going to be three different builds of approach i think i think there's going to be the jeskai build that uses the new enchantment and then i think there's going to be two blue white builds one of them that runs like the little one white mana deal two and then one that just plays like a little bigger with just everborn meltdowns I'm probably not bringing in anything to replace the Send, uh, maybe the Wreckage card, um, depending on how many Carnage Tyrants I think I'm going to see, and how many Hazards I think I'm going to see, like the, the four mana instant, like uh, they exile an attacker or whatever and get a land, that's the closest thing to a Descend replacement. Um, the Blessed Alliance replacement is probably going to start off being Effer Meltdown, but if there is a whole lot of like pirate decks and a whole lot of red decks, it may turn into the new one white mana deal two damage to target attacking uh, attacker or blocker. Other than that, um, the cards that I'm looking to work into the deck is I'm going to put some ops in the deck and I'm going to put some uh, search for Ascanta. I think search for Ascanta is just great. Well, we've drawn a million land again, but I'm really just not going to mulligan this hand. I think it's good enough to keep. 
Um, I actually don't know. I haven't decided. Like, I have I have a meta figured out in my head, and with the meta that I have envisioned in my head, I don't think Blue White Approach is playable. Like, Blue Ride Approach does not beat Red Deck Wins unless you jump through so many hoops that you can't beat other decks. And it will not beat the Pirate Decks either. It's not going to beat the Spell Pierce Aggro Decks. But, like, I want to play Approach. Like, Approach is Bay. Well, only Bay because they ban Marvel, but you know what I'm saying. Um, let me, uh, pull up, let me see if I can figure out where my list is. It doesn't have a cyborg yet, because when building a control cyborg, you have to tailor your cyborg based on the metagame. But, where's it at? What the hell? This, this was the list I was going to start with. Um, it probably needs some of that white mana spell that I was just talking about. So, like, we're kind of behind the eight ball here. So, I think I'm just going to attack this turn and leave up two removal spells. Um, I don't know what it's called, but there's a one white mana spell that if he just untaps and has hazard the game's over but that's how all the red decks are i don't i don't know this card there's a one white mana spell that does two damage to target attacker or blocker that's the only other card main deck that kind of interests me all right so he just had everything like we have no out to that so it looks like the wheels have very much fallen off the bus today um, we definitely want these, and we definitely want these in the mirror. Uh, I think Chandra's are very bad in the mirror. I think Cropper's are very bad in the mirror, and that leaves me with two cards that I don't really know what to take out. Uh, I've taken, I've, I've just experimented with a whole bunch of different cards taking out, but overall, I've kind of liked taking out the Shocks, because the Shocks aren't really great versus, no, well, not the Magma Spray, the Shocks. The Shocks aren't really great versus the, uh, Kenyas or the uh, apprentice apprentices or the scrap heap scroungers in general. Anyway, uh, so this hand's much better than game one, but it's again not really great. I value the Soscar Mage more than I do the Beaumont. Which is why I'm playing the Beaumont first. I do not know what Revel and Riches is. And apparently, uh, apparently MTGO bots are down right now, so. Sorry about the bot being down. That's uh, that's my first 60. Uh, I don't have a sideboard associated with it because, again, you build sideboards based on what you think the meta is going to be. And I'm not 100% sure what the meta is going to be. But uh, to replace the descends, I would naturally look at the seas first. Or the the sea... The wreckage. I don't remember what the card's called. This is the card I'd look at first. And to... Uh, Replace the Limvalas, which is our other card, and the Summary Dismissals. We don't need Summary Dismissal anymore because uh, the Eldrazi are gone. So to replace those cards, I would be looking at putting in 
just the authorities back for the mono red matches. That'd be what I'd be looking at. I like how we're not ahead on life or cards, really. You'd think we'd be ahead on one of the two, but we're not. It's their own little Beaumont. Huh. I assume he's going to kill my Beaumont this turn. I think it's too easy for him to have a removal spell for the Ephra Spear Harvester to play it. I just want to kind of want to push what's on board, and we're probably going to sack this this turn, so. I think I'd rather have three random cards than one a braid. Or three random cards versus one a braid target, rather. That could be wrong. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather have the other ones. I was wrong. I'd rather have the harvester back. I was wrong. Oh well. So we're behind in damage and behind in the race. We really need to draw a hazard. It's not a hazard, but it kind of works. I wish summary dismissal wasn't getting, uh, or wasn't rotating. That way we could still use it to stop Carnage Tyrant. So he's exerting? Five down to five. Attack for eight for next turn, which isn't enough. All right, I guess we block. Chandra's defeat's a good draw. Actually, a very good draw. Whoops. Sorry about that. And I hit snooze, so it's going to do it again. Um. Alright. We an extra three damage if we kill the one thing. Or an extra two damage to kill this thing, which I think is more than enough. I do plan on hoping to get to play more blue-white approach for the guy that was asking that. We're hellbent, so F6 value. Whenever a creature dies. 
10 or more treasures you win the game. Wow. That card calls to me. It's just beckoning me forward. So opponents have an effective one and we have three different attackers. Or we can just draw a lightning strike. That's not a lightning strike. That's not a lightning strike at all. Alright, so going into game on the draw, I believe Sand Stranglers are a little stronger on the draw than they are on the play. But it typically really just comes down to whoever attacks with the Hazard. So we're just going to load it back up. We're going to submit the same. We're getting smashed today. Still have an 80% win percentage. Wow. This hand's like great and terrible all at the same time. Even though runes is our only red source, I still think we have to keep it. We're just going to hope that this hand's not super aggressive and that we don't get punished for all the pain that we're about to take. Oh, there's 37 people in here. Hello, 37 people. What's up, Dan? I ain't saw you around in a while. What have you been into, bud? Did you get to go to a pre-release this week, or Sunday? Man, there's so many people in here, I'm going to have to advertise after this match. Advertising is the best. I think our hand's very good. It's pretty aggressive. Uh, if he doesn't draw an Ephra Spear Harvester, or sorry, if he doesn't draw on a Braid or a Hazard, the Ephra Spear Harvester can just win games by itself. Working six days a week. That does not sound fun at all. Little Inventor's Apprentice. That's a nice little card. I think I'm going to offer him to trade with the Kenra and just play the Pia. I think it uses the mana slightly better for us. And it's too easy for him just to have a removal spell. Like, if I knew that we could do 5 damage, we'd just do 5 damage. But we don't know that we can do 5 damage. So we really have to avoid a hazard and an abrade. That is the two key things now. The red deck wins is still going to be extremely strong after rotation, that's for sure. It's kind of an interesting attack. Feel like killing that guy's fun. Also kind of feel like killing that guy's fun. Then again, this guy can attack. How badly am I going to want these creatures? Probably not that badly. Alright. I don't want to take damage. And it doesn't look like he's going to be flashing back the one thing, so... That was a misplay. I should have definitely played the Ramian app there. Red deck wins will certainly be powerful. It's definitely going to be the best week one deck, I think. So you can't really attack. Uh, 
Oh well, that was a good draw. So let's go ahead and make the correct play now. So make sure that thing can't. I think I want the card more than I want the one damage. You haven't done so very free frills to like and subscribe. Oh, that's awful nice of you, man. Thank you. Is it really? Is it really Mr. Pickle 30? Why is it not Sirius? Why is it not Sirius? That is offensive. Thank, thank you, JJ, still. Wee. Still dropping a decent amount of frames this evening. To the murder boat. So he's murder boating this one. Uh, I guess we take three. That means our effort spear harvester is not dying. There. Yeah. Well, normally I would sack the Beaumont here, but since we know this thing can attack, there's no reason to. I want to make sure I keep the land for double Kenra too because of what he just did. Like that little thing can't attack. This little thing gets lifelink. This little thing gets crude. And we put him at two with a runes in play. Hehehe. <laughs> That's just odd. I wonder if Sirius works as well. Let's find out if Sirius works as well. Sirius does not work. That is just odd. All right. Well, thank you. You have alerted something to my attention that I apparently need to fix at some point. Uh, so view deck. Play match. And 29 and 6. Alright, anyway. So, time for you guys to get slapped with advertising. If you like what you're watching, please give us a follow here on Twitch. And you can look at the links down below the stream. Follow both my Twitter, where you'll see every time we go live, all the deck lists we play, and random thoughts and opinions on things. And there's also a link to my YouTube. Appreciate you following both the Twitter and the YouTube. If you're watching on the YouTube, you'll see all of the streams we play, some content that's not been streamed. And if you're actually watching from the YouTube in every video... Below it, there'll be a description that has both a link to my Twitter, my Twitch, and the deck list we're playing. But we have no removal spell again, but this hand's pretty good. We have, like, a couple of good twos and a good three, and we have a good decent four. Hey, Tar Heel Blue Boy. It's been a while since I've seen you around. What are you into? Are you going to play the new, uh, the new three mana raid thingy and like a blue red burn deck? Uh oh. We got a problem here, folks. Let 
We have a whole bunch of X ones versus a guy that's playing a bunch of tokens. I like the one one first strike with raid more. I like it a lot more. Red Rover, Red Rover, send us a removal spell on over. Okay. Feel free to block. Could have left that on defense to like block the Master Tinker, but I don't really like that. I don't mind taking one hit for five. If he had a second Master Tinker, I would have cried and died inside. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm actually a fairly big fan of that card. Uh-oh. This is what I like to refer to as a problem, friends. Let's eat you. <laughs> this is what I refer to as a problem, friends. So he's got like seven dudes out. I've always loved this card. I think this card's really neat. I wonder if there's going to be a green-white tokens deck with it. So I'm going to block two of them that's coming to me. We don't care about the Chandra at all. Uh, so these ones are the ones coming at me. Let's take our two little damage and be sad about it. He still has three cards in hand as well. Another expertise? Oh lord. Into the Supreme Will. Wow, so we know he has counter spells. By the way, thanks for stopping by, MTG Code, and uh... Guo, I like to like to welcome everybody, but sometimes I forget because I'm like thinking about a play or whatever. Lightning strike. Hmm. All right. Let's just play these two things, I guess. Is there any chance we can just win a race at this point? No, that's just 10 damage, ain't it? Alright, looks like we're going to try to block four things. Could have, like, played Deshandra and ticked up and just put one Earthshaker out, and he might have been tempted to attack Deshandra. Well, the board looks almost manageable again. It looks less manageable. We can play a 4-4 now. Eh. Let's go ahead and play this thing while we can. He's already showed us counter spells, so... We're doing, we're doing our best. The opponents had all the gas. I really, I really like token decks. Let's 
So is it now coming to our head, or is he killing a Chandra here? Not a lot. Just getting smashed today. Like, we're 29-6 and six of this deck, but we've lost twice today, and we're not looking good this game either. Interesting. So now they're all coming to us. To the face, he says. Got me. So we're down to four, which means he probably has more tokens. So let's start with this. Hope we draw like a one drop of some kind. That's not a one drop. So we won't play it. Go ahead and deal another damage to him. And put out the biggest, put out our biggest wall. Ten hour Ixalan drafts. Hey Ricky, what's up man? I would totally sell those while they're still $50. Like, I'm confident they're going to go down before they go back up. Oh wow, he's attacking the Chandra now. So apparently his plans aren't going as well as he wanted them to go. Or maybe he just ran out of gas entirely. Um, so we're definitely going to play another one of these. Let's say this thing can't block. And I'm only going to save... How many blockers am I going to save? I can still save two, right? Two seems safe. We have a Ramianap runes in play, by the way. Maybe I could have attacked with one more? I know you don't care about money, but... Like... No reason not to. Might as well make money when you can. I find it fun trying to make that kind of money. I don't. I'm. I'm super. I'm amazed we won this game. I really want to go to my nationals. I'm still jealous. All right. So I guess we want all of our little things that look like they can block. I kind of don't want the Chandras. Chandras don't seem that good here. Hazrits don't seem that good here. Huh. Yeah, Beaumont Couriers definitely doesn't seem good here. The Kenras and the removal spells all just don't seem particularly good here. The Chandras, he kept attacking the Chandras, but again, they don't seem good to me in this spot. Neither do the Crashers, really. Like, they just seem like worse free mana spells. The magma for sprays and the shocks and stuff doesn't seem very good either. Man, Mangucci's been doing a really nice legacy series on Channel Fireball. Um, we'll keep. The main reason I wanted the more removal spells is for his lords and stuff. Like, killing one third of an expertise doesn't seem appealing to me. Invocation Hazard. Snap. Keep. Hazards are back up to 12 bucks on Modo. That feels good. This hand does, on the other hand, does not feel good. Maybe he'll play a Master Tinker and we'll get some extra value out of this Magma Spray. Or maybe we won't. Could just have a Counterspell. 
Man, it's hard for me to sell them. It's the deck of the future. It's the same as the deck of the day. So he's already showed us counter spells. There's a good chance he could just Supreme Will or something on this. We're up to 61 people now. Stop. Stop. Stop watching me, people. Go away. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. Um. We're about to have a big problem. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How do we beat this card? And a bunch of tokens? You just not have a bunch of tokens, I guess. Uh, MTG bot's down right now, Ricky. I'm not sure why. There's no sweepers on our board at all. Wow, thank you again, Jay Steele, for the second hundred bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh God, we're dead. We're so very dead. We were close. We were so close. Fam, it's over. We dead AF. Yeah. <laughs> uh, RP Paladin, no, Ixalan, still not on Modo until tomorrow. It's only 16 power of lifelink. That ain't nothing. <laughs> All right. Well. That's just nothing. <laughs> Man, we got wrecked. <laughs> oh god, and an Avoina Priest. It gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. We did kill the big lord. I don't think I have an out here. All right, well, we'll kill the cats. We might have an out here. He attacked with this for some reason. Right, that's why I'd have left it as a blocker, though. Well, thanks for stopping by, uh, IRL Green Creature. I don't think I've saw you around before. 
I'm certainly not killing you. Taking for five just doesn't feel like it does anything. I guess it kills a creature. I didn't expect him to block. And hey, JBX8712, I don't think I saw you around either. Yeah, this game is as over as I've ever seen anything over. <laughs> Can I concede yet? <laughs> Can I concede yet? I'm conceding. You guys can't make me play anymore. I'm done. <laughs> that cat was sweet. That's the that's the meanest cat I've ever saw. <laughs> you can't you just can't make me play anymore. I give up. I've had enough. Maybe I want these in. <laughs> All right, I don't want these shocks anymore. These shocks are just bad. Kind of want these things. Everything that can kill a cat. That's the new plan. <laughs> oh god, that was that was a crushing. That's the worst I've lost in a while. Uh this hand's terrible, so let's keep it. This hand's actually not terrible, it's just not good. It's fine. I mean we've got this guy, this guy's kinda of threatening. <laughs> oh lord, we got smashed. Oh, he's mulligan in the five, friends. We have a chance. The dream's alive. Put on bottom, too. The dream's really alive. We got this. We just have to deal a million damage for a million tokens before a cat comes down. That's the, that's the trick here. He has cats, but we have monkeys. We have funky monkeys. Oh, uh, I guess since there's so many people watching, I'll try to stop sounding like a jerk. I wonder if I got a host or something. It's extremely odd that I have that many people watching. But I did not see a host pop up other than four from uh, Total MTG and four from Boot. Uh, MTG bots down right now, Jay. Um, well, we are currently one and two. We lost a team or twice, both in uh, three game sets, and we beat the red black aggro deck in a three game set. Thank you for following, <laughs> Darf Butt Ponderer. Okay, that's a good name. That's true, but it's like this weird standard, right? Hey, Flutter Trap. Thanks for stopping by. All right, well, we're now two and two in this weird little deck. Well, since there's so many people here, I feel like I have to spam more. And by spam, I mean advertise. If you like what you're seeing, you should really give us a follow here. And if you really like what you're seeing, you should click down below and follow both my Twitter and my YouTube channel. On the Twitter, You'll see all the deck lists we play every time we go live. Spoiler, we stream every day. Um, you'll also see random thoughts about cards and arguments and conversations with people. And on the YouTube, you'll see all the streams, a little content that's not been streamed. Hopefully more of that in the future if I ever get a better upload speed. But uh, And if you're watching from the YouTube, there's a description below every video that has a link to the Twitter, the Twitch, and the deck list. Alright, anyway, back to reading things. Oh, the 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 the, ter the the loss was pretty terrible. Pants bot. He had double anointed procession, and he played a regal caracal and got him about a billion cats. And then the turn after that, he played the little one free dude that says when things come into play, you gain a life. 
Then he played another anointed procession, and then he just started making tokens. Anyway, it, it was pretty embarrassing. Hey, Jose. Uh, hello to Costa Rica. How bad? Uh, how bad was the hurricane where you live? Uh, I believe this hand's a keep. It's on the low side of a keep because the double four drops already an issue, especially when we don't have even a third land. But um, the Beaumont Courier is pretty good, and the shocks are pretty useful. Thank you for following, Jose, and thank you for following Big Mistakey, and for one for me, f one for Rock, and Rex Shadow. I appreciate it. Um, I apologize for no alerts. Uh, blame Corey Coolcat. He's the stream manager. He's also the guy who made our emote for us. Go, go, Corey Cool Cat. You're the coolest of cats. <laughs> actually, the coolest of cats was the one that just dropped eight tokens on us. That was actually pretty cool. I'm glad that I got to see that. Another token deck? Are token decks that popular? Do I just not know that token decks are that popular? Um. Alright. This, seem, this feels horrible, by the way, but I just want to get another card on another Beaumont. Our shocks don't really do anything anyway, I don't think. That felt miserable, but like the Earthshaker Kenra doesn't do anything. No shots fired. I'm giving him a compliment. I'm really glad they reprinted these lands. I've always enjoyed this cycle. Sum it up. Just just go away. Stop it. Stop beating us. We don't like it when we're getting beat. <laughs> you do not hate me. I'm advertising your business. I'm trying to help you make money, Corey Cool Cat. Who else here thinks that we're already dead? I feel like this game's pretty close to already over. <laughs> we do, in fact, have no sweepers in the 75. <laughs> I like how that little dude's giving me a thumbs up. Man. Uh, hurts. Oh boy. It's hazard time. You can, like, stare at a cat. Can't really do anything else with it. <laughs> I approve of his artwork on lands, though. Don't do it. Okay. Well. Well, things are getting worse. I just not attack the rest of the game? Is there any chance that I can win if I just seven turns do that? Yes, we did. Because we were hoping he'd cast out the first one. Uh, I think we're in pretty bad shape here. There's some chance that the hazard can deal like seven damage in the sky. I don't actually like this card. I just opened it out of a treasure chest, so I felt like we're committed to playing it. I like the normal ones more. Oh, it's another cat. Well, as long as I don't kill anything, the cats don't do anything. On each creature you control. I forgot this card was a card. Well, all right. 
He can kill us faster than we can kill him now. I forgot that card was a card. Even though Sam, uh, Sam Rubin, another streamer I follow, has a big picture of it on his wall, and I still forgot about it. Okay. Well. We're going to discard that thing, too. I feel like just killing that doesn't really get us anywhere. So he goes to 14. Next turn, we can make this not block and attack for a bunch, which just isn't enough. Killing it doesn't feel like it gets me anywhere, though. I think I'd rather just take like a million damage. So 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're not dead unless he hits something. So we're definitely going to attack. And we're going to make sure this one can't block because we don't want him getting... I don't know. That was probably bad, actually. Now that I think about it, it'd been better to kill this one, I think. Yeah, it'd have been better to kill this one. That was a mistake. I don't think the mistake matters at all. Like, I think we have to draw well. Oh no, the Beaumont's coming across. We want five cards, friend. I don't think we have an out this game. If he breaks this turn, maybe there's some chance... But probably not. We do have some scavenging grounds, but we don't have very many. Sand's actually kind of good. So we kind of need him to brick. So if he eternalizes this, he gets two big monsters. And he gets two life. <laughs> right, right on time. We only have the one scavenging grounds. Right on time. Thank you for following... Uh... Marina Gail Flores? That sounds right. What can I do here? We could kill this. Make this not block. That doesn't seem like it does anything. We can just set back. That doesn't seem like it does much either, though, does it? So we can get rid of two blockers. He can block our three biggest things. He blocks our three biggest things. It's these, and he just takes one, two, three, four, five, six, which isn't enough. All right. Looks like we're waiting for another turn to try to do anything cool. If he bricks again, or well, we don't even he didn't brick last turn probably because he didn't play the land, but. Like, if he bricks, there's some world? Maybe? He 
doesn't have great attacks. His attacks are getting considerably better. What's that thing do? Until end of turn, target creature gets plus X plus number of creatures you control. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that thing becomes a 10 10. A 10 10 trampler. I think a 10 10 trampler is pretty good. Okay. Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't kill us this turn. This gives us a chance for him to make a player. So it goes down to a 7 7 with the braid, and we can block 4 of it with the hazard. What's that thing? Tap up to two target creatures your opponent controls. Creatures you control gain vision. Okay, now that one kills us. We were fine versus the first one. That one kills us. That was two good draws for him. Pretty sure we're just dead on board, but I'm too lazy to do the math, so we're just going to make our best blocks that we can. This thing's gonna deal 14 damage. So we're just dead. We have no out. Like we can survive the turn, I guess. So we take 11 that way. So we're not dead, but we have no out. Yeah, not dead, but have no out. Man, that vigilance thing was pretty brutal. I was hoping he'd make a bad attack. We're not dead on board, we just don't have any outs. Anyway, so Magma Spray seems fine. Shocks still seem bad. All of this stuff seems fine. Like, all of this bigger stuff seems fine. The croppers and the kenras seem pretty bad to me. So do the Beaumonts, kind of. But, like... The Beaumonts are probably better than some things. Eh, I don't want the Beaumonts. Somebody earlier said I should leave the Beaumonts in, but I'm not a fan of leaving the Beaumonts in. Oh, wait, that was a split card. I had no idea that was a split card. On Moto, it just shows the one side when they cast them. Like, it doesn't show both sides like in paper when you set it on the table. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Beaumonts at all. I don't even want this one Beaumont, actually. I'd rather just have the Cropper. I don't want the Cropper either, though, so. Like, no matter what, I have a card I don't want. I had no idea that was the same card. Again, like on Moto, when you play it, it just shows it just shows the one side of it, right? You have to like hover it and pay attention to know. Uh, this hand's not good enough. This hand's not very good, but we'll keep it. It's got a 1-drop, 2-drop, 3-drop. We can play them all. We are, in fact, getting wrecked by a bunch of cats. We got paired versus a bunch of cats last round, too. I don't appreciate all this cat scratch fever. Cats are my card. 
We even have Corey Coolcat, who is the stream manager. We need to thank him for all of our graphics and alerts and everything. Thank you, Corey. We appreciate it, Corey. Probably gonna have to read that card. Whatever, a creature? Nah. It's a battle. So no tap land's fine. If not, we can just abrade the thing that I don't ever want to abrade. Hey, Alalu. Alalu? Alala? I can't pronounce things. I apologize, but thanks for stopping by. I don't think I've saw you before. Need to put I need to put up somewhere stream manager Corey Coolcat so he can just kill me. No. Stop playing real cards. The more real cards you play, the less chance I have to win. Huh. Well if I kill this thing I take a whole bunch next turn. I don't think I'm gonna kill that thing. I'm just going to play this thing. Because I don't want him to gain a bunch. Yeah, I hope everybody had a good time at their pre-releases and stuff. This little Fopter is going to get a point of damage every turn until we get, until we scoop. Which could happen very quickly. Thank you for following Not Me One. We appreciate it. Is everybody excited for actually Ixalong cards being on Magic Online tomorrow? Red Rover, Red Rover, send us Ixalong cards on over. Uh... Okay. I don't really want to play it, but whatever. Huh. Just gonna attack with these two. I don't care if he buys that back next turn, I don't think. And a Carnage Tyrant. Cash money. <laughs> Ireal green creature. Yeah, the cast out is what I was assuming he had, which is why I didn't really want to play it and why I paused there. Like, it's hard for me to imagine that he didn't have one play, but I still think it was right to play it. Like, getting a cast out for that does some, is reasonable in some manner because we get this thing, but. What do you do? You give all the cats big. Hmm. All the cats big. So, could kill... You and you, and make you not block, an opponent takes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that seems like enough. That seems like enough at all. Or that seems like enough for sure. So if we gotta deal three damage to something, let's deal it to this thing first. Yes, killing this one's fine. I 
That way you can't gain the life off of the champion next turn. But it should be lethal, I think. Maybe I did bad math, who knows. I think he takes like 9 or 10. And by 9 or 10, I mean, I think he actually takes 10. All right, well, we snuck that game by. The Cropper was a lot better than I expected because apparently he's not the one type of deck I was thinking for some reason. The little Cropper was actually pretty good. Yeah. It, w it was 10 if he blocked the 2-1 uh, the token guy. And Lack tried to save his 1-3, and it was 9 if he blocked a 3-power thing and just, like, let it his, let his thing jump block. Either way, both were lethal, because he only had 8. So, like, the block that keeps his 1-3 alive would have been 10. And it's 9 if he doesn't keep the 1-3 alive. But if the 1-3's dying, we're not really losing anyway. I guess he could, I guess there maybe is some one white card, one, he could have had a life goes on into a fumigate. I guess that's reasonable with one mana. We have, we have got hit by a life goes on today. I don't actually like the Ephra Spirit Harvesters too much, but they do fly over. Maybe the Sand Stranglers just aren't good enough, actually. I just feel like the Crashers don't do much, but I am going to cut the Stranglers. I don't want the Stranglers uh, when I'm on the draw. I don't mind them so much on the play, but I don't want them on the draw. I definitely want the Chandras because I feel like the games can come down a lot to get, like, game one to where, like, neither of us can really attack for a few turns. And if neither of us can attack for a few turns, a Chandra can just tick up two or three times and end the game. Uh, go to Mulligan. This hand's terrible, but I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to go to five cards. I have one Magma Spray. It does a little something. The The removal spells aren't particularly good, but uh, I'll keep any creature. Well, again, I don't, I don't think the hazards attack very well in this match. I think the hazards are basically just something that pitches for damage. That's the main reason they're in there. They're in there for basically the same reason that uh, um, it's gain four life if a creature dies, gain eight life, and we've already had one cast on us. So, You're right, it makes the hazard worse, but I don't think the hazard is just tagging into a bunch of tokens is particularly good either. Like, it's not an all-star in this match like it is most matches. I don't even want to kill that one. Alright, I don't even want to kill that one. Right on time, Carl Zev. Like, everything in this deck's got them bombing Eternalize, too. So, like, if it's just one token, like... Like, the early second attacks turn four, so, like, if they just chump it and then play an Anointed Possession or whatever. I'm certainly not blocking this. Could have traded it for the Pia, but I don't think that's worth it. He's got to be pretty mana screwed. For that to ever be something that I would want to do. And we didn't draw a land, which is pretty unfortunate. Really wanted to draw a land. We're only playing 24, though, when we probably should have a 25th in our sideboard. I probably wouldn't be sideboarding the 25th in on the draw either way, though, so... Don't know how much that matters. 
It's down to two cards, though, and our hand's fantastic if we just hit a land. I'm going to attack first. I shouldn't have played the mountain. Playing the mountain was bad. I should have attacked before I played the mountain to the, the try to tempt him into wasting like a cast out if he had it. That was just a poor play. That was a very poor play by me. A very, very poor play by me. So he's got another cat, but we have another removal spell, so it's fine. Uh, start by exiling a card. It's just a mountain. Alright, we'll, we'll kill this one then. Give this guy 1-0. I'm going to leave the Carl Zeb back as a blocker. That's fair. That's also another good point. I knew I wasn't going to play a Glorybringer, though. Well, I guess I would have played a Glorybringer. That's just wrong of me. I would have, in fact, played a Glorybringer. Okay. Well, Cat Scratch Fever's back out. And now that cat has lifelink. Uh. So we can let it deal four damage to the hazard, or we can throw this thing in front of it. I feel like we have to throw that thing in front of it. We have a backup of that thing. Well, that didn't help. That didn't help at all. Alright, well, we have to kill the cat. At least I think we have to kill the cat. Maybe we don't. Can ulti, though. He has four attackers for the next turn. We just can ultimate. And we're not that far behind. He's still at 10. Like, there's glory bringers and stuff in the deck. He has to hit a pretty good spell to even kill the Chandra this turn. Hopefully he doesn't kill the Chandra. He cycled a deliverance. Wow, we brought in artifacts. Yeah, like, this, this thing having double strike 2 gives him extra life. Oh, another cast out. Rip. That's not the end of the world, though. Like, this is a two-turn clock. Well, he might have to, like, send these in to die or whatever, but this is a two-turn clock. All right. The little copter that could. I like it. It's like Thomas the train engine. Go, go, little fopter. I kind of called it a two-turn clock, too, when it's really a three-turn clock. It's like not even close to a two-turn clock. But I knew we were going to draw the shock that we sideboarded out. That's what I was doing. I was adding in the shock that we were sideboarding out. Yeah, well, we're not blocking that. Not now, not ever. 
Interesting. Okay. Um. Do we attack here? With the things on the ground. If he has a blocker for the one and a blocker for the other, he gains a point of life, so probably not. <laughs> That's true. He did have the answer to this little thing. Um. You could have another, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Let's see if we can win with it. He took the damage. Let's see if it's enough. Hey, we did it, fam. We beat the token deck. Wait, that's not the right one. Ignore that. View previous deck. We we did it. We did it, everyone. We lost the two teamer decks, beat two token decks, and then beat the red black deck. Um, we have not ran particularly well today. Three trophies isn't that bad, considering the new format just started Wednesday, and I only play one event a day, for the most part. Well, wow, thank you for the two hundred bits, Jay. Still. Highly appreciate it, man. That is going above and beyond. Yes, we've not played anything but red deck wins since um, since Battle for Zendikar and uh, SOL. Uh, since they rotated, we've not played anything else. So we've played, what is this, day five? And I played two leagues off stream. So we've played seven leagues since then. Uh, two of them were, or three of the leagues were competitive, though. Four of them were friendly. Like, there's just, there's, I'm not a big mono red fan. I mean, don't get me wrong, the deck's obviously strong, but, like, it's not particularly fun to play or whatever. Um, there is some kind of interesting lines, but, like, uh, it's just that, Without the new Ixalon cards, we don't really have that many options. It's like, play Bad Brews, or play Teamer, or play Red Deck Wins. Every other deck lost so many cards, or so many vital cards, that we really need the Ixalon. But tomorrow, I have no idea what we're going to play, but we're going to play something with Ixalon cards, probably. I don't want to say it for sure, but we're probably going to play something with Ixalon cards tomorrow. Um, I'm looking for somebody to host because I'm going to hop off. It's 9 p.m. here and I still have to get some exercising in. I need to get out while it's still moderately light outside, but I am not seeing anybody that's playing standard and I typically like to host standard players. Um, there's a non-zero chance I'll be back tonight. Pre-Ixalon standard. We found one. I've never watched this guy before. I have absolutely no idea how good his stream is. I want to apologize if it's not great. Again, I want to thank all the new followers tonight and thank all 75 of you for stopping by. Um, the one guy I clicked, the stream's not even working. I also want to say, give us a follow if you like what you saw. Follow the links to both to Twitter and to YouTube down below. And thank you again, Jay Steele, for the 400-bit donations tonight. We extremely appreciate them. Um, thank you for following War Warhawfall and Kalafas. I I can't pronounce your name. I don't I don't want to insult you by trying. Anyway, I'll try one more time to see if this guy's stream opens. This guy's stream did not open, so it looks like there's no standard player I can link people to. Which is unfortunate. So I'm going to stream to my League of Legends duo partner then. It'll actually freak him out if you guys all go say hello. But anyway, I'm going to jump off here. 
Sorry, couldn't find a magic player. I don't. Uh, I, this is the first time I've ever hosted a non-magic player. Anyway, take care.